Here comes my new project, 1974 Mercedes 450 SL. It's just being delivered. And let's go get it off the trailer. Right. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Cool. Okay, guys. So as you might be able to see just from the scenery alone, it is a, another day. Uh, it's winter here and it's pretty cold. So I had to wait until we had another uh, somewhat decent day that I could get out here and show you what we actually got now that it's off the trailer. Um, You know, it doesn't sit too bad. Um, hi, bud. Hello. Hi, bud. That's it. Oh, look at you. You gonna ride your bike? Yep. All right, Seven cool. Ones. Excellent. Go for it. <laughs> My boy Curtis has got his new bicycle for Christmas. All right, so just take you around the car a little bit. Um, I did pull the hubcaps off so you could see this car in all its ugliness. Um, so, let's look at the condition of the car. The windshield is all intact. The cowl is in decent shape. The hood appears to be in pretty decent shape. This car was definitely painted uh, at least one time since new. Uh, you can see right here the original paint underneath that silver which is chipped off right there and in typical Mercedes 450 380 and 560 SL fashion the fenders are a little bit rusted right there in the corner on both sides not a big deal uh, for the most part the fenders are pretty solid uh, you can see a little bit of rust right down here but nothing too serious Boy, the paint job that someone did on this car was really horrendous. I wouldn't be surprised a bit if it was done back in the 80s. Uh, maybe a Mako $200 paint job back in the day or something. But it's all just flaking off the body here. Um, there's a little, little mark there and there. Scrape. And by the filler here, we've got a little bit of rust here. Inside, it doesn't look bad at all. That's good. And down here, there is a little ding in the back quarter panel right there. And of course, once again, down behind these ugly bumpers, of course, uh, a little bit of rust showing down there. Uh, around the back, you can see there is a cracked Tail ends here, not a big deal. Those are a dime a dozen pretty much everywhere you look. Somebody's selling tail lamps and new ones are about 150 bucks a piece for the Euro, Euro URO brand. Probably get a brand new pair eventually anyway so that they're nice and uh, matched condition versus getting a used one and having the, uh, the, the fading being a bit different from lens to lens. Uh, bumper, fairly straight, little ding right here, nothing too serious. Uh, around the back looks pretty good. There is a little ding here at the corner and the trunk. Uh, nothing serious there. 
the deck lid, trunk lid looks pretty good. You can see again, obvious paint peeling and uh, the original paint underneath here with flaking paint on top. The hard top looks to be in pretty good shape all the way around. Not bad at all. And if we continue around this side, let's see, you got a little little break here. Yeah, a little rip, a little rust under there. Typical, typical, typical of where these bumpers meet the body. Okay. Body over here, not bad. No dings or dents that I can see in the rear quarter here. Uh, door appears to be not bad through here, but as you can see, here's the, the worst of the car. And that is... Uh, a bit of a crunch here in the driver's door. Looks like it got smacked pretty good. Don't know how the trim appears to have survived for the most part because there's even a gap behind the trim in the body where it was hit, but that could be repaired, although I'm not sure it's worth the effort. I think a replacement door might be just as easy uh, in this case. Front fender, pretty solid. And once again, typical a little bit of rust around the light here and a little bit of rust down in the corner here. These wheels, they're not terrible. They're not rotted. They are a little bit rust colored, but uh, that's why I pulled the wheel covers off. Just want to see the condition of the steel wheels. Okay. All the lug nuts are there. The car did roll into position, no problem. So everything is freed up. The brakes aren't locked. I'll give you a quick glance here inside the door flash on so that you can actually see in here and uh, there's a view of the back not too bad driver's seat dash dominant instrument cluster you can see the mileage there and uh, I just pulled the floor carpeting out the floor is Appear to be pretty solid, no holes, just dirty and a little surface rust. Same goes for the back. However, on the passenger side, haha, <laughs> a little bit of a flood. That's recent. We just had some rain and the car wasn't covered. So somewhere some rain has gotten in. And it's down here on the back floor. But since there don't appear to be any holes for the water to drain out, it's actually a good thing. Uh, the floor is actually in good shape. I just need to get a wet vac, vacuum, the, vacuum that water out and make sure that this car goes under cover until I replace some of these seals and in the, uh, the hard top and put a battery in this car so I can roll up the windows and make sure they're all the way up. Uh, you can see in the door jams here, everything is really, really in good shape. No rot, no rust, once again. So I'm really pleased with the overall condition of the car. It is a very restorable vehicle and I don't think it's actually going to take all that much to restore it. Uh, we'll see as we go along. I'm going to make a list of parts that I want to get right off the bat. Um, among those would be of course a battery so we can actually see if this car turns over. Um, I want to get some new shocks and new coil springs because the car has been sitting for so many years that I'm short squatting and I don't like that look so I'm gonna replace those shocks and springs right up front back here let me just grab a key uh, I've got to put some WD-40 in all these locks they tend to be pretty stiff right now but let's see if I can there we go trunk lifts right up in the trunk is looks like there's a service manual it's pretty cool it's, uh, piece of rope for whatever reason bunch of floor mats okay and underneath is the compartment for the spare which I've already checked and there is no spare but look at that ah, rat's nest nice and some soggy rope from what I can tell uh, a jack but the trunk floor is solid so that's a good thing and everything inside here looks solid so like I said this should clean up nicely I am NOT a bit concerned about what it's gonna take 
to make this a driver. You can see the, the trunk lid, it's solid, excellent. And it actually closes beautifully and with just a little push, pops right open again. So, you know, I am not too disappointed with my purchase. I did buy the car at what I consider a great price. Uh, obviously, everyone would have their own opinion as to what's a great price and so forth, but I was prepared to buy this car, seeing how solid it is, uh, knowing that there's a chance I could need to put a different motor in it. I just don't see that as being the end of the world. So, the engine is the original 4.5 liter V8 under the hood and it's a bit dirty under there uh, it appears to be completely intact I did pull the spark plug wires off I wanted to pull the spark plugs out and uh, relieve the compression so that for the first time turning it over since it's been sitting for so long that I don't stress it too much I want to make sure that it is going to turn over I'm prepared to accept the fact if this engine is no good uh, I'll replace it with something else and I can't say it would be another 4.5 liter because there are a lot of options for what I could put under the hood maybe a 5.6 liter out of a 560 SL maybe even something completely different maybe an OM 617 five cylinder diesel out of another Mercedes uh, who knows could be anything but as you can see here it has not been registered, or at least not legally registered, <laughs> since 1995. And being that we're at, in uh, 2018, we're talking about 23 years since this car has been actually legally registered on the road. Now, I was told it's been sitting since then. So, at least 21 years. They said uh, once it was parked, they had moved around and kept it moving for a couple of years uh, probably to about 97 so we're talking about 21 years that it really has sat not running and not really moving but overall I would say that the condition of the car is pretty good the car is solid uh, I'll give you a quick glance down at the bottom the rockers if you can see there don't know how well you can see but these rockers are in excellent condition there's no rot and up in the fender wells same deal for what it's worth if you can see there's no rot uh, typical small surface rust that I can deal with not a concern so until the next video just want to show you what the car looks like as it rolled up and rolled off the trailer and this is it folks so we'll see you next time thanks for watching